Hello, scientists. Welcome back again to Draw Bio Mad. Today, I will show you how to draw ER or endoplasmic reticulum in Adobe Illustrator. Here's an example that I got from Nature Review about dengue fever. So I have this nucleus prepared on the left side, and I will be drawing ER surrounding it. So first, we need to use ellipse tool to draw a circle. Then let's increase the stroke size to 8 point. Once you've done that, you can change the color into uh, any color that you wish to have. I will use a desaturated cyan here. Now the foundation is ready, I will duplicate the circle into three of them and then adjust it to a proper size surrounding the nucleus. Let's align them with the alignment tools. Okay, so a crucial part is how do we create this rounded ends of each of the segments. To do that, you need to go to Appearance panel, click on Stroke, and here you will see there are some options that you can select. Click on the rounded end for your stroke. And that will allow you to have a rounded end when you break your circle path. Once that is ready, we can start breaking the circle and make them into these little ER segments. So now we have our ER segments. We need one more thing, that is the bridge between the segments. Uh, to do that, just create a little short stroke over here. Okay, now is the very crucial part. How do we make these segment strokes into objects? To do that, we need to first select them all, then go to Object, Expand. Here, we only need to expand the stroke, so you can uncheck the object part. Then press on OK, then you'll see your stroke has turned into an object and this will enable you to create outlines for your ER segments. I will use gray for the outline for my ER segment because you should never use black if you want to keep your illustration fresh. Now the segments are ready, uh, let's create the bridges between the segments. Just to do that, just go to this little stroke here and expand it as how you do it with the segments. And once it's expand into an object, once the stroke become an object, just duplicate it and place them in between the segments as you wish. Once that's done, we can go into our final step, which is combining all of these objects. You need to select all of these ER components and then go to Window, open your Pathfinder window, then click on Union. This function will allow you to merge all the segments into one ER. Okay, so that's how you create an endoplasmic reticulum in Adobe Illustrator. I hope this tutorial can help you to uh, create your graphical abstract for your research. Uh, welcome to comment to let me know what more you like to learn and also make sure you subscribe for more tutorials. I wish you all happy drawing and I'll see you next time.